today on Be Something Wonderful. How to ignore 3D reality, keeping the faith the Neville got it way. I am your host, Tom Kieran, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I got an email this morning from one of our subscribers who asked me, Tom, Neville often mentions ignoring the facts of life, ignoring the 3D world. And you even mentioned in your video to ignore the 3D. And in fact, that after, the, after you drop off to sleep in your wish fulfilled, when you wake up the next morning and open your eyes, that you're looking at the dead past, right? That you are now walking in that wish fulfilled. You are now walking in that dimensionally larger reality. But for some reason, I, I can't really, I keep seeing the 3D reality. I, I don't, how do I ignore it? <laughs> so guys, we're gonna unpack that and more. The first thing I want to say is when you try to ignore the 3D reality, you are making it real in your experience. You are shining a light on it. Remember, why is that so? I am the light of the world. This is what Jesus said. I am, this is what Neville says with this. I am consciousness is the light. You are that light. So whatever you give attention to, you make alive. So that dead past is dead until you when, until you give it light, until you turn your attention to it. Hear this, right? So how do you ignore the past? By not trying to ignore it, because what you resist persists, right? What you resist, you put your light on, you put your attention to. What you just let be fades away. You want it to fade away. How? By keeping your attention on your wish fulfilled. That's how you do it. You ignore it by not ignoring it, by putting your attention solely on your wish fulfilled, solely on that desire at already being done, that you already have, you already are that person you want to be. You already have that which you want. That's how you do it. This is big, right? And, and what does Neville say? He says, the world is a mirror magnifying all that I am conscious of being. Remember, that I am consciousness is the light. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. When you put your light on it, you're giving life, magnifying, you're keeping alive that which you give your attention to. So you want to put all your attention on your wish fulfilled. That's what we're talking about here. And then Neville gives a great, a great story. He uses another parable that, that brilliantly captures this. And he talks about Daniel in the, lion, in the den of the lions. And then there was King uh, Darius. King Darius had 120 um, people that were in governors that were in charge of the kingdom. And over those 120 local governors were three administrators, right, that were in charge. Three, one of those administrators was Daniel. Daniel was the star. They loved it. They, he loved, the king loved Daniel. He was, he was the star, right? And so his, his intention was to make Daniel in charge of, over all the kingdom. Of course, the other two administrators and the 120 governors did not like that. They were jealous. So they started scheming. How do we, you know, and Daniel was, Daniel had nothing, they had nothing on Daniel. They couldn't get him except, except that he was, he honored God, right? And so, and so their scheme was that, that they were going to go after him by, by decreeing a law that you cannot pray to anybody other than King Darius, other than the king. If you pray to somebody outside of the king, you will be thrown in the den of the lions. Hear this. If you pray to someone other than the king, you will be thrown in the den of the lions. Of course, Daniel prayed three times a day he prayed, right? Three times a day he gave thanks. And so when he heard the news, he went back to his house, went upstairs in his upper chamber. In his upper chamber, he had windows that looked onto Jerusalem. And then he got down on his knees and he prayed three times a day, prayed to God, giving thanks to God in advance, right? Just had he done before. He was giving gratitude in advance, right? And then uh, the, the, the administrators and those other governors caught Daniel praying. And they said to the king, Daniel pays no attention to you. <laughs> and he keeps praying three times a day. So the king had no choice because the king de de signed this decree into law. So uh, he didn't want to do it, but they threw Daniel into the uh, den of the lions and they sealed the door. 
Then the, then the next morning, the king got up early to, to see if Daniel was there. And of course, Daniel was there and Daniel said, God shut the lion's mouth. I was found blameless before him. Right? This is big. So he, he, he survived the lion's den. How did he do it? By looking away from the lions, looking up at the light, looking up at his ideal, right? And then God shut the lion's mouth. So let's break this down piece by piece. This is your story. This is the story of ignoring 3D reality and putting your attention on which fulfill. Here you see that Daniel prayed three times a day. There's that number three again that we talked about yesterday. The number three meaning fullness or completeness in, 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 um, in Hebrew, right? It means, it means full or complete, right? This is the idea that you're full with your wish fulfilled. There you are again with the number three, right? And then he gave thanks to God just as he's done before. So he, he was doing it again as he's done before. It shows the consistency of keeping the faith, right? Keeping that faith in your ideal, keeping your faith in that wish fulfilled, walking in that faith. This is what Daniel did. And he gave gratitude in advance, right? It's done. Thanking God in advance, right? And then when he heard the news, right, uh, they said, Daniel paid no attention to you, to the king. So he pays no attention to the 3D world. Hear this. This is huge, right? You, don't, you, you keep your attention on that ideal. You keep your attention on that wish fulfilled. You keep that attention on that higher state of consciousness, on that higher, greater, wiser you, right? That's what we're talking about here, right? And then it says that God shut the lion's mouth and found him blameless, and he was found blameless before him. Who is him? He is he is blameless because he is that higher state. He is that consciousness. That's your ideal. Your ideal is blameless because it's that higher ideal. This is the story. And then it was, to, it was said at the end that the king, Daniel, was lifted from the den and no wound was found on him. He was lifted. The idea, again, of resurrection, resurrecting your wish fulfilled, resurrecting that wish fulfilled in the 3D reality. When Daniel was lifted from the den, now that is your wish being fulfilled. That's your, that's your desire manifesting in 3D reality. No wound was found on him, right? He turned his back on the problem. He turned his back on the, on, on the, the 3D world. He looked up to the light, and so the lion's mouths were closed, and then he was lifted or resurrected from the den, and then, and then the, his, that wish fulfilled is, as a wish is fulfilled is resurrected in 3D reality. Wow, that's powerful. So guys, it's moving your attention only to your wish fulfilled, as Daniel did, as Neville tells us. That's how to ignore 3D reality, keeping the faith that Neville got it way. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. Hit us up on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful, on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, at our website at TomKaren.com or Be Something Wonderful.com, or write me anytime at, be something, at info at Be Something Wonderful.com. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, with great love, this is Tom. See you soon.